Hello, my name's John, this is one of my many conversions, and you're watching War Games, Models and Other Hobbies. Hello and welcome back to another video. This is one of two videos today that are showing off some of my many conversions. As you've probably seen by now, I create various conversions and models, get them to a certain state, normally primed and ready for paint, and then they sit for a long time not going anywhere. And that's what this one has done specifically. This Gene Stealer conversion I did probably, I think it was for 4th edition Warhammer 40,000 when the Yamgal, I think I pronounced that correctly, the Yamgal Gene Stealer rules were produced and they were mutating Gene Stealers. And I took some inspiration from some films like The Thing where you have all of the kind of tentacles and gore flicking out of the creature to create this model. So let's have a little look at it and run through what I used. The legs themselves are from the last edition Gene Stealer model. The new Gene Stealers have come out, which I'll compare this to in a minute. Arms are mainly from the Gene Stealer sprue, but then the lower arms are from the Hormigant sprue, the old Hormigants, as are the claws. The body itself is a termagant body. The head is a termagant body, uh, sorry, a termagant head with the tendrils, the mouth parts from the old Gene Stealer kit. The right hand side of this model I created unmutated. So you've got two claws on the lower arm there the rending talons on this hand but then on the left hand side I had the idea of making it mid mutation so you can see the tentacles coming out of the fingers with the claws on the ends likewise the scything talon claws have now got tentacles coming out on there now this model has for some time just been sitting on my shelf and I thought it was about time to paint this up, especially now with Necromunda Hive Secondus coming out with Mutant Gene Stealers. I thought something like this might be quite apt for that. So in the not too distant future, I'm going to do a simple paint scheme on this to complete this model. It's something I want to aim to do now is complete the models that I've got because they do just sit there for quite some time once I've made them. Now to compare this to the new Gene Stealer, so I do like this new kit I really do love, there is the new Gene Stealer with the tentacles coming from its mouth and they actually do stand at similar sizes so I am quite happy with the way that this one actually turned out all those years ago. I only ever made one unfortunately but now with the new kit I don't think I need to make any more because I do like the way that's turned out. If you've got any ideas or thoughts about how I should paint this Gene Stealer, please drop a comment. But for now, just want to say thanks for tuning in. I'll leave a link to the other video for today in the description. But for now, my name's John, and you've been watching War Games Models and other hobbies.